my race day go bag. Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about my race go bag. Now this is a bag that I grab and take with me whenever I go to a race. So it's not a drop bag, or it's not a bag that I'm going to check. It's something that I'm going to keep in my vehicle so that way whenever I'm finished with the race, I can have some stuff that helps me be a little bit more comfortable. Also, in case I forget something, then I have it with me and I can be ready to go for the race. So let's take a look at it. This is my race go bag. It's a 511 Zap bag and it's got lots of compartments and it also has a nice sling for easy carrying. So let's go ahead and dig into the contents of the bag. First of all, I always carry a bottle of water with me in case I need it after the race. And then on into the front pocket. Packets of Biofreeze, which are great for sore muscles. Extra gels in case I forget them or someone else needs them. A tube of Body Glide in case I need to add a little more lubrication an ink pen if I need to write something down. And sometimes it's dark at the beginning of races and a flashlight to see what I'm doing. Also, I like to carry a multi-tool because it gives me a lot of capabilities to do different things that I need. And hand sanitizer. And now digging a little bit deeper into the bag, we'll get into some other items that I could possibly need in a race. Here we have some extra batteries for my headlamp. And also a sewing kit in case I need to repair some damaged clothing. For smaller items that I want to find easily, I have them in a clear fishing tackle box. Inside the tackle box that's packed with cotton balls to keep the contents from rattling around, I have extra shoelaces. I also have a contact case. I have mosquito repellent. I have lip balm. I also have some Vaseline, which is very helpful for chafing. I also have Q-tips. I have some Advil and then also extra safety pins because I always get three in my packet. Continuing on into the bag, I always like to keep a uh, protein bar in case I'm hungry afterwards, extra sunscreen, and also a fresh pair of socks which always feels good after a race. One item that I feel that's very important for uh, any pack like this is a first aid kit. Not only can it be helpful for you uh, in case you need to uh, administer some first aid to yourself, but also to be prepared to help others. And so this one is pretty well fully stocked and uh, you can get these at any pharmacy or uh, store. Continuing on into the bag, I have some more items that can help make me more comfortable post-race or before. I have a buff, which uh, they're useful for many reasons, and also some moleskin in case I develop a blister. I also have more band-aids that I use for my nipple band-aids, very, very important in case I forget them, and then also some wet wipes, and these are great for cleaning myself up post-run. And finally, I keep a trash bag in the back of the bag, just in case it starts to rain at the beginning of the race. And that way I can keep myself dry. And that's the contents of my race go bag. Now you can personalize yours any way you want to and also personalize it for the particular race that you're going to do. One thing that is important though is once you put something into that bag, it never comes out. You just pretend like you don't even own that stuff because you start taking stuff out, it's not gonna be there when you need it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and put your own bag together. Thanks a lot.